Kate DeCamilla was born on March 25, 1964, and was born in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As a child, Kate suffered from chronic pneumonia, which caused herself, her mother, and her brother to relocate to Claremont, Florida when she was five years old. Her father, an orthodontist, stayed behind informing his family that he would sell his business and join them soon, but he never returned. Growing up, Kate would often hear her mother tell stories and read plenty of books. This caused Kate to become imaginative and use that imagination growing up when creating her books. Kate has always had a love for animals and is the reason why most of her books involve animals. In 1987, Kate graduated the University of Florida with a degree in English. After receiving her degree, Kate moved to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where she currently resides today. After moving to Minneapolis, Kate began working at a book warehouse where she immediately fell in love with children's picture books and began to become drawn to them. Kate persevered through hundreds of rejections before her first book, Because of Wind Dixie, was published. Because of Wind Dixie was never illustrated but made into a movie and it is about a young girl named Opal who just lost her mother and is moving to a new town. Like all stories of moving to a new town, Opal has a difficult time adjusting to this place. That is until she finds a dog ransacking a Winn-Dixie grocery store, which is what she decides to name the dog. Opal and Winn-Dixie go through a lot of adventures and meet new people around the town. Because of Winn-Dixie is a Newbery Honor book and also won various awards. Kate DiCamillo's book, The Tale of Despero, was published in 2003. The Tale of Despero is set in a fantasy world where the hero is a tiny mouse trying to rescue a human girl. The books are seen from different points of view from each character, giving the reader an insight about who the characters are and the roles that they play in the story. After the book was published, Kate won the Newbery Award in 2004. Later, in 2008, the book became a movie which kept its original title. After the movie was released, the National Educational Association named the book as one of the top 100 books for children. More recently, in 2013, Flora and Ulysses was published. It received the 2014 Newbery Medal, making it Kate's second Newbery Award. Flora and Ulysses is a book about a small squirrel named Ulysses that gets sucked up into the vacuum. Cynic Flora, always reading comic books, steps in and the unbelievable happens, where Ulysses is revived with the new abilities of strength, flight, and misspelled poetry. Flora will somehow be changed, but before she must understand that there is a possibility of hope and promises of the world. Kate DiCamillo was never married and never had children, but quoted in saying that I hate to cook, but I love to eat. I'm a short, loud person, but I love being an aunt to three lovely children and one not-so-loving dog. She as well thinks of herself as an enormously lucky person because she gets to do what she loves, and that is to tell stories for a living.